Yellow. I'm back at it again. At Animal Crossing. I have my OBS covered up. Oh, that probably was not a good noise. I have a new setup thing going here. Um, which means I have many more objects on the same thing that my computer is on. Which means if they move, it'll make a bad noise. So we don't want that. So I've moved that. I've forgotten how to stream. I need to be able to see the chat. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I remembered. Yeah, I'm painting. There we go. I switched to creator mode on my phone. Just a little look behind the scenes. I have to cough. I'm normal. And I am pulling up my reference. I wonder if I can keep that there and let's have a little. That might be better. Yeah, that might be better. Okie dokie. Painting a funny yellow house today. Oh, is my reference up? It probably isn't. This funny yellow house, to be specific. Specific. Sorry, I got caught up in helping my partner do world building. <laughs> so I became very quiet. I am... I've been having a hell of a time lately. Oh, uh, with my health. And my brain fog. What's up, YouTube? Okay, my reference is nice and big. We like that, we like that. <sighs> and doing art after a while. I don't remember what my last stream was. It was a while ago. It was some number of days. Let's see, let's get this filled with... Let's do this color, yeah. Oh, Piranha Pants Plants Lullaby. I like this one, actually. And what is the darkest value on here? It looks like it's in the very background with those like little bits of trees you see just beyond the hill. And then in the house itself. So the grass in the foreground is quite dark, but not super, super dark. I think I'm going to want to start with this color. And let's just get a nice, rough... Like that. You gotta love Pir Piranha Plants Lullaby every time. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the jagged edges going on here. Uh, those will figure themselves out. I am, however, going to move everything down just a single pixel. Do that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, then we're going to want to block out this house. Because those dandelions in the foreground are going to... They're going to come later. I'm going to say this starts about this far in, and it goes up, not quite halfway, let's say it stops there, 
And then we want the line tool. Because regardless of what it really is, we want these to be nice, smooth lines. We're going to stop that one there, go over a single pixel, like that maybe. No, it is really just... Hmm, but we need that to be... Okay, maybe put that like there. I'm not actually going to... Mm -hmm. Are those actually lined up? Let me see quickly. No. Okay. So what we've got going on is about halfway across. I use a grid on my phone, by the way, to do this part. Um, I've mentioned it before, but I have a reference pulled up on my phone that I look at while I'm doing this. And I split I, I do like just a quick in the phone photo editing thing, do a markup where I put a grid um, that's similar to this grid that we have in the game down. Um, and that way I can look at each square and kind of go, okay, whereabouts does that fall? I am actually going to want to put that one up. And then this one, so I'm actually going to compare this to the house itself. It seems like it starts about there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see that. I'm just creating these little dots all over the place. It's similar to Lego. That's not what I want. Okay. Hello? I don't like this tool anymore. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> there we go. The, there we go. Now we're going to need that one to do the same as what happened over there. And then come down. Now this would all be great. Except the house needs to be bigger than this. <laughs> okay. I really want it to have those really crisp lines going sort of one pixel down, one pixel across. So I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what I can do here. I think maybe if I move this all down one, or, or maybe I need to move it over. Let's not start with the base of the house. Let's start with the top of the house. That's a little bit more than halfway across. So I'm going to start there and just sort of... That seems excessive. if we want that really crisp line we're going to end up with the same amount of space every time which is not enough space no it certainly is not No, that doesn't seem like quite enough. Hmm. 
Let's see. Let's keep working it, though. Hmm. No. That it that isn't it. Whoa, keep editing. Let's move these up a bit. The house absolutely needs to be wider. There's no two ways about that. And it needs more space on this side as well. the nice crisp line but it just isn't the right it just isn't right here we will encounter our first our first true disagreement with the custom design editor I desperately want it to be a different way and it simply is not I think this is up too high Mm, well, it seems okay. That feels like the correct amount of, like, space. Oh, but I hate how wobbly it is. Is rough in comparison. Okay. Hmm. 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 Freya is awake. Post your Freyas if you've got them. I can't resist. It looks so clean this way. We're just gonna have to fudge a lot of what's going on here. I think. gonna have to start making shit up that's okay that's not bad i think i can fit the window in quite well here so i think this is what we're gonna go with because there just isn't gonna be enough going on in the image to make those jagged lines look smooth and so much of the appeal of this image is the really stark geometric cleanness of the lines of the house as opposed to the you know the natural chaos of the dandelions in the foreground so compromising that clean clean vectored line um just wasn't gonna do it that's my decision in the end on that okay And let's see, for this like little background, we've got like, let's see, where's my graph again? Okay, yeah, some of this comes up on the top. The nice thing with doing like very natural stuff is you just sort of, in every couple of pixels or so, you just add something. 
There isn't a lot of... Yeah, there isn't, there isn't a lot of creativity that goes into it. You just sort of add stuff until it looks good. <laughs> like that, I think, fills the space pretty well, except I do want it to go further down. So we're going to make this be the one that's higher up. We'll deal with that weird edge over there in a second. Okay. Now. This is a lot of pixel real estate, but I think it's worth it for the, yeah. Um, hmm, if I make this go out just a bit further, do I have room to make this? Oh, that looks pretty bad, actually, but I want to see if maybe that does it. as well. Hmm. I'll decide. I'll decide. Oh, there's not a lot of space here. Mm, and it's not an odd number of spaces. That's, that makes it tricky. That does make it tricky. You know what, I might be able to fix that by having this be three pixels wide instead of two. It'll certainly contribute to the width of the house. We'll find out if that looks good. Hold on. There we go. That way, and then that. That should give us what we need here. It does make it so very, very fat. Wide. <laughs> really, really just really big ass window. I think that does it though. Um, and we'll be able to add this little chimney up here. So up here we've got just a window that's, I don't know, just make it one pixel wide. <laughs> just a one pixel wide window. This one I'll just make a square, I guess. And then we got this kind of raggedy one down here. Having a sort of very beggars can't be choosers feeling about how this house is going. <laughs> There is not a lot of space for these pixels. I think that's probably as good as it's going to get. And to be honest, I probably don't want those so much. Probably just make the top a different color. Um, can I do one pixel? Yeah, there we go. That ain't half bad. It's approximately the same image. And that's the best you can hope for. So I'm going to save this quickly. The name of this painting, I've decided to have um, Patreon subscribers help out because we have a, a Patreon only Discord where myself and my partner, we share a Patreon. Um, I post art about all sorts of things. My partner posts writing of all sorts of things. And I was like, hey, I need help naming these because I realized I really like naming my paintings as one word, one word titles and they're always nouns. So I was like, hey, I could name this house 
Or I could name it something else, and someone suggested declination, and I liked that. If it's the somber mood. As well as describing what is seen in the image. Oh, look! It's facing that way. That's cute. Oh, that's really cute. Hold on, I want to move it around, though. There we go. Now it looks like I'm drawing. Yahoo! Let's have a look at it. That's how it's coming along. And this is Pompey. Post your Pompeys if you've got them. I'm gonna post Pompey. Yeah. He loves it. Okay. Back in. Actually, I'm gonna take a sip of water real quick. Okay. Change design. Oh, my neck pillow fell down. I gotta move it. Okay, so here we are with the house. Ooh, let me just get my phone. It slid under my little lap desk. Now, I could just start going crazy with the dandelions. Man, it's going to be tough sorting those out. There's a lot of them. But obviously, we're not going to include, like, all of them. So it'll be interesting trying to get the ratio of dandelion to actual house correct. But I think I want to take it over to color now. Because so much of doing the, the foreground is just going to be placing individual pixels. So... This background is either ever, 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 ever so slightly blue, or it is just gray. I'm gonna say it's ever, ever, ever so slightly blue. Siding of this house. I'm gonna call that. Hmm. I'm gonna make it like this color, but very, very dark. Oh, now that's too green. That, that color. Not that vivid though. Yeah, that seems about right to me. Um. This foreground green. It's actually a rather bright green. Um, is it more blue? No, it's just quite dark. That's too... There we go, I think it's like that. And then the background here. Yeah, this is really just a very, very, very dark. I'm not even sure if I can call it green, but I'm gonna. that bright yellow house. Mm. I'm gonna go 
over like there. Change that color to... We're gonna need a lot of colors that aren't bright yellow because it's also very dingy. The color I'll use. The color of the word I'll use. Okay, that's too green. It's too orange though. I think I want that really, really, really bright yellow to be part of it. Highlighter yellow. And comparatively, I wish this dark this was a darker color. More vivid. Okay. Now. I want to make this a nice dark blue. For the windows, because it's darkly reflecting the sky. Well, we've got sort of a beige there. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that. I'm just gonna make that blue for now, so it's filled in. We're gonna need a darker blue. Gray for the clouds. That tends to go, if you're doing shadows for things, oftentimes they'll go even bluer. So I want this to go bluer as well. Like that. I think that's the color I want for that. Ooh, but looking at the reference, this is almost sort of looking a bit purpley, where this, the green, the, the gray of this sky is a sort of teal gray. I don't know how to describe that. That's how I feel about it, though. There's a lot of like gradation in the sky, but because the sky isn't the focal point, I don't want to spend a lot of colors on it. I only got 15 colors in Animal Crossing to pick from, well, to, to use in your palette. So if it turns out I have plenty later, that'll be a nice little treat for me go in and make the sky a little bit more smooth but as it is I'm gonna try and make do with one one color for the sky I want this to have some sort of linearity so I'm just gonna make this this single line come through here and I'm going to do the same for this one, but I'm going to take it down one pixel because clouds have a way of mm, further down actually. Being right next to that sharp edge there creates sort of a problem. And then the sky actually seems to get quite a bit lighter right behind the house there rather than darker. I might keep that in mind. I'm saving this. I, I like to save the brightest white and the darkest dark color, just in case I find myself needing them. Oh, I think my playlist is, is telling me I haven't looked at it in long enough. I wish YouTube hadn't done that. You paused the video, were you looking at it? No. It was literally background noise. 
I'm seeing I don't like how um, gray this green is. It's actually more vivid than I'm giving it credit for. It's just very dark. Maybe like that. Hmm. Yeah, let's start figuring out these dandelions. I'm gonna go here to start with the color for them. Um, Cause we're gonna need sort of a, and I'll probably be able to reuse these colors in the house. So I'm not too worried. Um, so maybe a color like that. I'll start with that. I'm just gonna go back to my grid and very messily map out where I think the dandelions are. Me when I'm making my Kingdom Hearts Union Cross theories. A joke for about three people who will be watching this. The shapes of most of these dandelions is very, um, like a half circle sort of thing. And with the Animal Crossing vector, you kind of want to... Like if I were painting this myself, I would, I would try and put a little bit of depth in the angle of each of the dandelions. Like, okay, so that one is a perfect sort of semicircle. So I want the next one to be a little bit tilted towards the camera or tilted further away. You don't have that luxury in a pixel painting this small. And, um, if you try and go for nuance, you tend to end up with unreadability. So I've put a lot of very readable dandelions down here. The difficult thing is gonna be going sort of into the background where they're getting smaller. So as you can see, if I do something like this shape here, it on the little canvas, it's like, oh, you wanted to do a triangle. Um, you need sort of two pixels to convince it that, oh, okay, no, that's actually a, a semicircle. But we also don't want all the dandelions to be massive. That I'll probably be able to smooth out a bit later with more colors. As it is, we're probably going to end up with just a lot of like, oh, I have to be careful about that, sort of like this going on in the background where it's literally just a bunch of dots. You want to be careful about how you spread those out as well. And you can't really put them one pixel below each other because they start to blend together here. And the whole point what makes it readable as a field of flowers is that they're all dotted. We look at that reference and we say, oh yeah, there's several flowers dotted about the thing. So, we're gonna do our best to, let's see, there's a high density, there's actually a big gap right here where I might just move that foreground one up one pixel or a couple pixels yeah there we go that gap's sort of taken care of um this is in the way and there's that gap there at the bottom that's good and there's another one sort of like here-ish. So we're just gonna do our best. You sort of start to get a feel as you do it for the randomness you need to put in to make it look more natural and, and less handcrafted. See, I didn't really like putting 
two lines right next to each other. So I put a dot in between them and it looks a little bit more chaotic now, which is what we want. The exact same sort of mentality goes for painting stars, textures on rock. I also sort of try to avoid putting too many dots like vertically because um, you do start to just sort of notice that. I prefer to do that. You can sort of see it looks too uniform suddenly. So put that there. Didn't like it. Moved it over one pixel. Has more of that randomness now. Hmm. I think I have to move. We'll see. We'll see how that develops. We're just going to want some dots back here. Okay, I think that's good enough to start with. I think I need a color lighter than this. Okay, I need to start doing a thing doing a bad job of seeing where the colors are that I've already used, so we're going to start changing every color that I'm not using to a nice, bright something. <laughs> uh, the, the more unlikely to be in the, the painting, the better. There we go. So let's make this another very, very bright green. They are an eyesore, but it really helps you know at a glance how many colors you're working with. Get a nice bright cyan in here. That's the green I'm using. That is the other green I'm using. Yeah. That's the house. That's the windows. Okay. The YouTube playlist is working better than I expected today. I haven't had to sort of jostle it to not repeat songs in a second. Okay, we still have lots of colors to work with. One, two, three, four, five, six seven okay that's a good thing to get your head wrapped around now because i want to use some of these for the house trim i want this to be a dark brown that'll go away. Okay, it did. Cool. Do I like that? Maybe if it were darker, I would. Or do I want that to go on the siding? There we are. 
maybe if it was on like the very inside it'll kind of help make the keep editing please maybe it'll help the house look just a bit wider oh man it is this image is so dark that I'm actually having trouble seeing it Hmm. I prefer that brown to be sort of this color. And a bit lighter? Yeah. I think that's alright. Helps distinguish it a bit. And then we can do things like make that this color. Which sort of separates the uh the window itself from the the top of it do i want to use that here it is white technically i wonder what would happen if i did this well hmm did that just create a single dot hold on i want to get a closer look at this i think it's created a perfectly round dot which isn't very useful to me. I wish it was a line. Looking all right from a distance though, isn't it? Nope, on the camera. Yeah, it's just created a perfectly round dot. <laughs> oh, you can see it's doing a lot of um, curving. You can see where the algorithm is trying to discover circles, basically. Like, I like the, the dot circles down here. That's great. Dot circle up here? Not so great. I might be able to bypass that by using a darker color. We'll just have to see. I'm just gonna move my desk. Interesting, interesting problem. I think I'm more likely going to have to just sort of play, uh, ch make changes to the houses, the house, not plural. What's happening? Why did I turn off all my lights? <laughs> Help. Okay, that button, yes, okay. So, let's have a little look at what happens on this canvas when I change it to this. It is more line-shaped. But honestly, it doesn't really look like a, a window frame, does it? It just kind of looks like nothing. I might make it a bit lighter, and then it'll look kind of more like a solid window. No, because we've got like the shadow of... So if I did it at the bottom, maybe? Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, this has curtains, so we're just going to do the same thing I did with the other one. This is still beige. Okay. Let's work on the house. I want to make it look a bit grody. I'm not really sure the best way to do that. Because again, I can't really put in that detail. I think the best thing I can do is pick sort of a, a muddy color. Um, maybe something like that? No, that's not gonna do it. I still want it to be fairly yellow is the thing. Maybe something like that. Okay, there's definitely depth there. We'll be right back very quickly. I'm going to try and figure out a new way to set this up where I can see it a bit better.
think this is better. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, spinning of that earlier. The only problem is I can't quite figure out where I'm going to keep my phone to look at easily. If only my old setup was still viable. It should become viable again. Just a fibromyalgia problem. Classic fibromyalgia. That is not the right color. That is the right color. <laughs> what I might end up doing, I suspect, is using some of the green to grody this up. It's not quite the look I want. It's not really casting a shadow, is it? It's quite flush. Um, it does give it some depth to keep that there, but is it the depth I want? Or is it the depth I'm settling for? something you know what there's there's a couple pixels towards the top where it looks good but doing it all the way down isn't working for this one perhaps because that is not what it looks like in in the photo it is not an accurate representation so let's change all that there we go i like it just being at the top Let's make it a darker color because it's feeling like a color that I'm only going to use at the top there right now, which isn't good enough. That's the wrong color. <laughs> Here we go. This feels like a color that I'm going to get more mileage out of. By way of being kind of gross. Maybe that's good. Maybe we want sort of those stray, bright pixels. Ooh, interesting. I'm definitely getting more use out of this. We'll just have to see how it keeps, how it develops um, before I know if I like want to keep it. I think it'll be good to have another color if possible to sort of mix things up. Yeah. Hmm. Might be the bright yellow that has to make the sacrifice. Oh god, that's so different. Is there a way to make that work if I make it really desaturated? No, that bright yellow really is it. really hard to put these colors to uh, play together in the way that you actually want when it comes to that little portrait on the side. Oop, that color should be there. I wonder if... No, that's too bulky. I thought it would be.
I am kind of liking what those pixels just coming off the side do for it. Put that there. I feel like I'm making a house that's cosplaying as a titan. That's what too much symmetry will do. Symmetry. Nailed it. Perfect joke. <sighs> my face when the audience does not appreciate my tiger tiger joke. It's just gonna look like it has funny little tiger stripes. Oh, I was liking it at first, but I don't like it anymore. If I did just one. Giddy giddy. Maybe I just do a big stripe. There we go. It's not quite symmetrical enough to cause any problems. Hmm. Okay. I want to do the dandelions now. Just basically this. Ooh. Let's see how that looks. Honestly, this yellow could be darker. Yeah, like, like that, I would say. And then this. Maybe that? No, it's not that different. That's probably more correct. Okay, so it's the middle of these dandelion puffs. Let's see what I can do with that. With that knowledge. Okay, so that one looks more like one that's sort of turned towards you, whereas if I put all of it sort of at the top and then lower at the bottom, that's one that's turned away. That's only going to be really useful for a couple of them. Don't beep beep. Car outside going beep beep. Hmm. I was hoping I could get sort of a, a darker orange going for the backs of these. Maybe that'll work. Beep, beep. Hello, Freya. Freya the cat. Okay, let's just go and make all of these that we can have these little, this little hat, this little hat. Does not look good with a sort of T shape. Well, these just look like little candy corns. I prefer it that way. And then I think I want to make this a darker orange to put in the back ground. Oh, that's way too dark. Unless. There we go. That's a bit better. So now we can start adding more dandelions or the idea of them just sort of anywhere we want i think for the back here we're just going to start making some of these darker entirely i wonder what putting two next to each other oh that looks kind of nice um 
What happens if I do that? That's alright. You can see that that on the, the small canvas over here, that one change really changes a lot. I think I prefer it like that. And let's see, can I use this orange anywhere over here? Oh, might be able to, but very sparingly. Wonder if I can just do that. How many colors I got left? Two? <laughs> Woof, okay. Can I use any of this green up on the house? It is very dark is the problem. And that orange is very, very bright. If I put that there, no, that's nothing. Is that? No, that's definitely nothing. Just curious what would happen if I did that. Had to readjust again. This appears to be the only way I can live lately. Okay, we don't want too much orange down here. Honestly, what I really want is a lighter green. Love you, Lunar Superstar, Lunar Silverstar story. Because for the lighter, you can sort of indicate that there are like stems and all that. It doesn't need to be much brighter though. Let me get the. Yeah, stems and leaves and all that some grass texture good for places like that and then that
and then just sort of try and make it look a little Nice to indicate there are sort of stems coming down from each of these. Um, just gives it a little depth, believability. We want to see that the flowers all have stems, so when we do, when we put in a single pixel's worth of it, your brain can go, ah, flowers in a field, I've seen this before. But where it gets back here, like, these aren't supposed to be one flower, these are supposed to be several, so... But every once in a while, putting one underneath, I think, is good. Especially in these places where you can't have two of the same color overlapping. sort of odd ones there. Okay. Can I use this green on the house? I'm desperate to use something. Oh, I think this green will work. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's that gross color we needed. It's the same over there. Maybe like that. I mm, don't know if I like that. Might want it like that. Hmm. Put one over like here. Maybe there, with one of these here. I wonder if... Oh, I do like it better in place of where that orange is. Yeah, it's better. Even though it does get slightly orange up there, that's sort of taken care of by this light brown color we have. Oh, maybe this green will help me make this in a way that doesn't make me think it's a tiger. <laughs> I think it's definitely looking more unpleasant, which is good. That's the, that's the feeling I kind of want. I want it to be a house you look at and kind of go, mm, don't know how it would feel about going there and being there. My personal opinion is they uh, have KK Slider saying way it meet meat because it sounds like he's going yeah baby. And that's the that's what they wanted with this song. I wish I could just add like a few more everywhere. Again, too symmetrical. That kind of does it. Mm, that undoes it. Mm. 
why I just heard a song try to start. Let's have a look. Did YouTube do the thing again? Yeah, it did. To my beloved Suikoden music. Okay, house is looking gross. We just needed a bit of green. What if I do this? Do I like that better or worse? Ooh, that's definitely worse. <laughs> ah. Maybe if I brought it all the way down, I would like it better. Or does it have sort of a pillow shading effect? Kind of... Yeah, it's pillow shady. Don't want pillow shading. I think if I do it just on one side, it might kind of look like... Ick. <laughs> In a good way. Let's have a look at how this is turning out. There's my painting. Hard at work. God, I wish I was on the sofa. So I made, might have made the house too icky. <laughs> That's okay, though. I think that can probably be cleared up just by changing the color of the, the brown. Let's have a look. Compare it to my reference. Yeah, I see what I've done there. I'm pretty confident I can fix that. And the dandelions are coming along pretty well, all things considered. But let's unick the house a little bit. The Animal Crossing Power Wash Simulator of fixing this house. I've got another hour before I have to wrap up, so... Let's see, let's see. Now that I'm in a different position, I think I might be able to put my phone somewhere a little more advantageous for looking at it as a reference. Just putting it nice and far away from me so it's nice and small. I'm getting the, the vibes of it rather than the specifics. Yeah, this yellow back here is not very yellow. Maybe, let's see, what happens if I do this? Mm. Let's, let's see, let's see. You know what, that might do it. That might be the special thing I need. And then this orange can be used as texture and the can the orange be no can this be used as texture sparingly i would say and let's actually lighten this a bit hmm I think I am going to use this for the sky, but I'm not sure. Okay, this has sort of like a few patches of just brighter right there. I think that might have, yeah, that made the corner bad. 
can't have anything. <laughs> Let's see. I really wish I could make these window panes a little bit more like. But that's nothing. That's less than nothing. Oh, wait, didn't I want like a beige in there? Oh, well, I don't think I have a beige to put in there. I can do that. I figure that works well enough. a little bit more orangey up here. I actually do have an orange for that. Now. And I can sprinkle in this as I see fit. Oh! <laughs> Controller went way too far. I forgot what soundtrack this was from for a second. It's Kirby's. No, this is definitely Delta Room. My brain was saying Delta Room, Delta Room, Delta Room, and then I was like, very confidently, no, I don't think it is. Foolish. Foolish. I do like having some just completely horizontal lines. It kind of helps sell the it's made of wood effect. Wood paneling. Mm -hmm. uh, let's replace some of these greens with brown. Oh yeah, because that's like really gross. <laughs> to be honest, it's like very, very gross. Actually, should I put one of these in? No, I should not. Oh, hello, Ali. Hope you had a wonderful holiday. love to hear fucked up Mario 64 music. Is this one of the messed up ones? Yeah, it's from B3313. Oh my god, congratulations! Oh my god! This has genuinely made my day! I can't imagine how you feel! Somebody redeem party. I will redeem party. If I can find it. <laughs> oh my god. That's so lovely. Yeah, Pompey, yay. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I will set a helpless romantic. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of them too. <laughs> oh, 
got that disabled girl swag. Um, yeah, <laughs> this ain't about me. Hello, Rose. I was wondering if you'd tune in today. How are you? I feel like it's been ages since I talked to any of you people, but I don't remember how long it's been since my last stream, to be honest. <laughs> I might be right back really quick, actually. I'm still here, but I'm being, I'm being right back. I'll pop it up in case I'm longer than a few minutes. No, not that one. I want the, this one. Oh, yep.
Okay, I'm back. Oh no! The boiler exploded! Oh, that happened. Um, my parents' house before. Absolute nightmare. mention we've actually got some oh you know I will record my pain levels now actually oh that's so sweet in the snow oh my god speaking of I'll do a quality check actually while I'm showing this but I wonder if it's still no I opened up my game today. It's the first day of snow in Animal's Crossing. I think it's still autumn technically in the game, so I don't think there's snow on the ground, but there's snowfall, which is very cute. Let's see. Yeah. But it's snowy. Which is why I'm inside, staying toasty. Hi, Pompey. Pump, pump. This is like the quietest song that's ever played. Oh, it changed. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Might do away with the horizontal lines. Yeah, it's still a little too grody. Me, the over-detailer. Over-detailing? It's more likely than you think. You. We definitely did over here. A friend came over and we had a nice time. Yo, photo shoot happenings. What was the occasion for you, Rose? If you want to share it, rather. Oh, gardens! いいんじゃない Maybe I do like that there, actually. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Supporting an artist you like, that's good. Cough, I may have a personal interest in people doing that. <laughs>
Blank. It's true. Orange? No, not orange. It's not that grody over there. It's not that gross. Look. That'll do. It is that gross over here. And I have not two pixels to rub together. Oh, I didn't actually record my pain levels. I have an alarm that tells me to record my pain lately. Uh, just to make sure I am not hurting my body with my new neck exercises. Um, let's say it's... It's gone down quite a bit, actually. I would say a 3 or 4 out of 10. Yes, please. Okay. Do I need to do eye drops yet? Mm, no. Oh, this is a repeat. Let's get some different music. Yeah. Let's get some different. Yeah. There we go. That's the music I want to hear. It's really good for people to put a few of them in a row. Yeah, because <laughs> the way I always quote it at home is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you did a whole bunch of stuff, it's the sound that Blavo, beloved character Blavo from the hit, the game that everyone knows existed. Um, all right. All right. I do also finish it off by saying, all right. Uh, he makes the little yeah noise whenever you pick up like a, a treasure chest, I think, uh, the thing you get in that game. And then if you pick up like a bunch of them in a row, the yeahs all sort of clip together. So you get the sort of yeah, 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 yeah thing going on. Oh my god, I have a darker green. It's been over here the whole time. L-M-A-O. Uh... Yeah, and then at the end of the level, when you've collected all of them, he goes, All right. Blabo, my friend Blabo. I love getting 100,000 emails about the special offers. There's so many of them. I did end up breaking my own code and buying objects on Black Friday, but it was more like it was coincidentally Black Friday at the time. Um, I got some stuff to help me with lying down, because my neck pain stuff has been especially bad. And I was like, hmm, I'm now just lying on the cold floor with no cushions, <laughs> uh, because it's the only thing I could like do to like interact with my partner. Like, the only painless way for me to exist at the moment seems to be lying in bed, but that's gonna run its course very quick. Lion! My friend Lion on the cold hard ground. Um... So I got, I got like a little backrest cushion and a little lap desk so that I can, I don't know, enjoy life from time to time. <laughs> And it just sort of, it reached ahead. I was trying really hard not to. I was like, I can't justify the cost. And then I was like, Ugh, you know what? Fuck it. Actually, the thing that really did it was Sam was like, your fibromyalgia does this to you like every couple of months. You're always going to end up having to sit back on the floor again. And I was like, you're so damn right. Hello? <laughs> Wait, I have a, um, I have a Dratini neck pillow. Sam was actually going to get her down for me. Uh, today. It was a Christmas present from my brother-in-law? 
I recall. Oh, okay. Oh, did you send it to them? Like, a photo of it to them and they were jealous or something. Yeah, okay, that's why I remember them from it. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I named it Petal. Sizzlepee. I click it. Please don't open then the thing that... Okay, thank God. Oh, that's so much more than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> wow. Will Sizzle Peak Furniture become the hot new interior trend? Will Sizzle Peak Furniture become the hot new interior trend? Oh, sorry. I had to do it in the TikTok voice. That's so much more than I was expecting. That's five gum. That child who's just dead. Hell yeah. <gasps> slowpoke, slow, so, slowpoke, slowpoke sofa. Slowpoke sofa. Slowpoke sofa. Sorry, I'll, I'll stream again. I got distracted. I got distracted by slowpoke sofa. Sofa. Okay, I've got to confess, my eyes are shit bad and I cannot tell which, which one of these colors looks better. Darker or lighter? I think darker. Does anybody have an opinion? Okay, thank God. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe I'll do eye drops again, but I feel like I only just did them. Let's see. I've started recording when I do my eye drops as well. Oh, that was about two hours ago, actually. Let me do them again. I got that. I'll say it for the second time. That disabled girl swag today. Man, my eyes aren't even... I was gonna be like, my eyes aren't even a disability thing. And then my brain just shouted at me. Not being able to see is a lack of an ability. <laughs> I'm like, thanks. I don't know where I put my eye drops. I found my eye drops. Eye drop shaking sounds for everyone. Oh, there's one. There's the second one. Give my eyes a little bath. Soak them in the restorative fluid. <laughs> yeah, being able to see isn't like that big of a deal. I remember, like, my prescription, my glasses prescription starting to go a bit funny after I'd, like, been in Japan for a year. So when I'd come back, I'd be like, was it always this hard to see license plates? <laughs> after a while, I was finally like, after, like, a year, I was like, I think I should get my eyes checked. <laughs> I was not a paragon of, um, safety and anything virtuous in my 20s I will say though I, I I was a very safe driver when I was a safe driver I never got into another accident that involved another vehicle I got into one accident that involved on Super Bowl Sunday I was driving on the freeway and a cardboard box fell out of a truck that was right in front of me and I determined that I did not have enough time to check my blind sw spots to swerve so I just held the steering wheel real tight and hit it at full force 
Um, and my car got a little bit sad from that, but it, it got over it. I took it, I took it and gave it the medicine that you give to cars when they're sick. And it got better. I was like, yeah, it's not safe enough to save myself, so I'm just gonna take the hit. And that box... And you know what? Everyone on the freeway... Oh, it's Ash! Sorry, my eyes are kind of shit right now, so I just sort of interpreted... I'm, I've been interpreting all the usernames as, um... Blobs of color. <laughs> Hello, Ash, how are you today? <laughs> I don't know why everybody in my chat has green usernames. <laughs> I guess it is the best color. I think that must be it. I need a new phone case soon. I always try and get a different color. My last one was a really nice foresty green. I really liked it. The current one is a nice like beige. Not sure what I should do for my next one. Now you are me. Did I get a Holotown subscription? Hold on. I swear to God, I just saw a Claymates pog. Is that Claymates or is that something else? That's something else. I don't know who that man is. I posted it. <laughs> I meant to hit backspace. I've never seen this creature in my life. I don't know who it is. Chess? Are you sure? It reminds me of the League of Legends thing. That I only know because I watched the show. Is it that thing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Five people who happened to click on my stream just now just left because I posted that. Me crying and screaming. It's not what it looks like. I don't know what League of Legends is. No, Chess's Pog is the, the pink Mario. Sound of Freya's heat mat. Can you post it? I want to see him. Damn. Chess has really, really good emoji. <gasps> yeah! I do love to see that pog. It is a very, very good pog. Oh, I have one color. I have two colors left. Why did my music stop? Hey, hold on. What's happening? Oh, we're just done, huh? Is, is there a song after this? Okay, let me just arbitrarily pick a song. Because it seems to think that we're done after this. And I don't think we've played through all 300-something songs I have on this. Actually, let's go listen to some fucking Pilot Wings. I added that yesterday. Where's Pilot Wings? Please, I'm begging you. Hey, why isn't it here? Hey, 
Hey, where did... I thought I updated this. Troubling and upsetting. I was having such a good time looking at the Pilot Wing soundtrack. Soundtrack. Oh. Oh, actually, it's got to be Quest 64. Hey, no. Play the video. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now I am living. <sighs> Yeah, we had to- I had to unsub from, like, everyone when we got a house <laughs> and I stopped being able to work. Um, but Chess is someone who I, I stayed subbed to for ages. Yeah, tips are better anyway, aren't they? Well, I mean, in terms of, like, immediate monetary reward. I guess less in terms of like, you know, will this person tip me every every month or will someone with a sub give me a little bit of money every month without thinking about it? In terms of how much you want to monetarily support someone. Yeah, I have so much Animal Crossing in my playlist, and that's good, because it's like, it's, it's Animal Crossing. It's an Animal Crossing stream. It's good to do it. But then I'm like, no, I'm turning off Shuffle, and I'm turning on the all of the songs from one game that I want to listen to right now. Okay, let's add some little shadowy dandelions. Official Official title of them. Oh, no, that does something weird. Uh, that one there? That one here? I don't know what time is it. I've got a hard cutoff time today. Um, because I've got a call with my family. So, in, like... 30 40 minutes i will be saying goodbye hopefully if i don't finish this today oh no i can't do it tomorrow i'm at that time of the week where my schedule is getting full of things like hey if you don't cook food to eat you won't have food to eat i'm like oh dear one of the many delights of having mcas The sheer amount of food you have to cook from scratch so that you don't starve. <laughs> Yay! I'll be honest with you. I've forgotten broad categories of food at this point. People talk about food and I'm like, this is not a conversation I can participate in anymore. People are like, oh, this kind of food exists and that kind. And I'm like, um... No, it just means I can't help you out. It's just a weird position to be in where I just have to, like, exit conversations about food because I cannot provide anything. That's Sam's answer to everything, and honestly, so correct. It simply loves the sushi. Oh. <laughs> I lifted up my hand and forgot that there was a, a new desk thing there. Is, is it gonna 
keep playing the songs in the playlist or is it just sort of done with doing that? I'm gonna say loop playlist. I'm not gonna say shuffle. I think these dark orange dots are doing a lot of legwork, making the dandelion field feel a bit more populated. Oh, burrito is good food I haven't had in, to be frank, over five years. <laughs> I left Arizona and all good Mexican food experiences left before I was unable to eat the Mexican food anymore. <laughs> I have had some good like nachos when Sam's- there's like a brand of refried beans here that isn't terrible. Um, Rose, I gotta level with you. I thought you said it's Moe Monday. <laughs> I thought it was Moe Monday. And I was like, I don't know what this has to do with burritos. I'm really out of touch with Tumblr these days. <laughs> Fuck. Moe Monday. Oh my god, how is- how is it? Has your mind been expanded? Is white too dramatic? I think it's just right, to be honest. Yahoo! It's what we love to see. Okay, I've got my reference back up where I can see it. Let's do some dithering. You know I love to dither. Yeah, my ex who I was with for like eight years in America, um, was entirely Mexican on one side, on like the side of her family she actually still spoke to. So that being coupled with, you know, living in Phoenix, Arizona, I we went to all the best places, like the hole in the wall places that you just wouldn't expect to go in half the time. And they had the best. I could fuck up a taquito if the taquito wouldn't fuck me up really badly first. I'm just kind of making stuff up at this point. I really like this stage of doing these pixel paintings where I just sort of occasionally glance down at my reference and go, okay, I haven't messed it up too bad. Oh. Oh, the pollo though. Yeah, right? Yes. This one had like a drive through fascinatingly. Um. And it was open until like 2 a.m. It was great. I wonder if I can dither these clouds a little bit.
Well, that's kind of nice. But also, I do kind of like the, the structure they give it. Blobo, yeah. Oh, I have a, an entire other color left that I just haven't used. Huh. I don't know if I can think of a use for it at this point. I guess I could use it to make the sky. What needs help? Other than, like, my immune system. No, my, my immune system actually does not need help. It needs hurt. It needs to be stopped at all costs. <laughs> These windows are actually quite dark in the image in a way that's striking. But... The problem with that is if I were to make it very dark, like, like this, for example, you would need the, this to be kind of lighter to make it sort of matter that it's dark, but it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Whoa, my controllers just went nuts. I think that is the better way to do it. I kind of feel like there must be something more I can do with, like, the house itself. Maybe I can use sort of a, maybe I can get sort of a gray in here. Let's do this kind of gray. Is that anything? It's darker? It would be pretty swag of me to complete this without even having to use all the colors. However, In fact, there is, now that I'm glancing down at the reference, the reference, maybe I want there to be a darker green in some of these places. Maybe instead of a gray, we just want a, an in-between green? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. It is how it is, though. In the green. Sausage rolls. It is one of the uh, videos. I don't remember what platform that video is. That a TikTok? Mm -hmm. Probably, huh? Um, it's one of the videos of time. Very funny for you to say as a vegan. Oh, 
Oh, we have to. Yeah, it doesn't hit quite as hard if you're not. I think it must hit different if you're not familiar with British things. Is how I'm gonna phrase that sentence, I guess. Uh, if I do this, can I then use this as a a lighter? Not. Oh, well, I can and I can't. Is what's going on. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we love it in this house. <laughs> yeah, I guess this extra green, that's just sort of providing some depth is fine. It's fine. I'm normal about it. I love Quest 64 music. It sounds fucked up. <laughs> I wonder if... I do like that. I need this house to be grody. I keep making the house look gross and then cleaning it up and then making it gross and then cleaning it up. <laughs> Can I use this? Oh, I might be able to here and there. Pepper it throughout. My other favorite verb when I'm streaming, apparently. Uh, actually, now that I've done it, I don't know. Me just living my life, making a house dirty and then cleaning it up and then making a house dirty. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, like, I've never really even been to Greg's, is the thing. Like, I shouldn't have a frame of reference for it. But after I started working here and actually got to, like, know the way British people talk, I was just like, yeah, this is, this is true. This is deeply true. That's just how people move. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's good. It's fascinating. I love this strange and wonderful land. I've, I've begun to call my home. Okay, let's see how this is turning out. I like the sky. I say in the most California ass voice I can muster. I really like the sky. <sighs> what the fuck? <laughs> I forgot I put this floor down in here. It really scared me. <gasps> like, oh my God. The vocal fry you have to like. Let's, let's get rid of you fruits. Things I don't say in my stream. <laughs> okay, I'm liking it so far. I'm liking it. 
I think I barely managed to finally get the correct amount of grunge. Maybe I could get a little more at the top of the house in like that top right corner. Fun fact about me, every time I have to say a left or a right direction, I have to close my eyes and... Way! <laughs> Way! <laughs> Let me put this. It's a bit oranger than I expected. Maybe I will go in and mess with the colors a bit. Yeah, that upper right, I think, could be dingier. Hi, Nightbot. Yeah. I'm gonna mess up that upper right corner. You know, like my cute little yellow outfit for the... I I found Treasure Islands and I got a pom pom pudding outfit. It's so cute. No! Talk to you later! Bye! Wait, did Pompey respond to that? Pompey, are you in there? My boy. Pompey. Okay, he did respond. Oh, I gotta see what the pumpkin dog is doing. Oh, I scrolled. <laughs> Remove sunglasses. Man. I'm so sorry about that noise again. I'm gonna put a little marker. I still don't know how these work. By the time I go to put the things in my videos to make them good on YouTube, I think about going and figuring out what the marker is, and then I go, can't be bothered to do that. Can't be bothered being maybe my favorite thing that British people are always saying. Oh god, my foot was just on one of the cables going into my computer. It could have could have meant a very abrupt end to the stream. Um, change design. We want this corner grody, but we also want... Can we make this less? Ooh, yeah, I think that may do it. Let's see, what is it changing exactly? I think I like that. Mm. It definitely gives the entire image a more yellow hue. When it comes to green and yellow, I'm very bad at keeping them not from turning into orange. I have a strong preference for warm tones in my art. about that. Can I do like, oops, that's the opposite of what I wanted. Can I do a line like that? No, that just reads as a shadow. That, that's not what I want. I kind of wish it was just a bit Maybe that? I 
A small art project? Have to have at most 10 layers. Oh, I do like doing stuff on one layer. I use a million layers when I'm sketching stuff out, but once I get to painting, it's just like, obliterate them. It's all one layer now. And then I add a ton of layers for like filters and effects of stuff. Uh, I kind of like that, maybe. No! <laughs> I always do like, I do a first sketch and then I do a second sketch and sometimes I need to do a third sketch. I do a lot of sketching. I'm, I don't have clarity of vision when I start something. I cannot see things in my head very well. So the sketch is sort of the first time I get to see it. Oh, is it not small? Can I ask what the project is? It sounds interesting. That's better. Hmm, I think that seems good. What do I like better? I think I like the lighter. Let's go with the lighter. Oh, wow. Yo. Oh, God. Oh, that's so much. Oh, that is a huge project. Oh, my God. Yeah, even just working with my little Pompey virtual pet, I want to have different weather and four different times of day. And I'm like, that's already so much. And I have three in my... In my, in, three animations per time of day and weather right now and I'm like that's gonna be so much and it's like it takes me the, the little background I made for him already took me maybe 20 minutes if I'm being generous but I'm still daunted by it
I say as if I don't have an art book in the works that's... Art book is, is a very loose turn. Um, it's like if the autobio comic wasn't a comic. And it's like 140 images big. And I'm like, I'll get to it when I can sit up. It's only been in the works for like three years, coming on four. Oh no, it's already been four. Well, it'll get done when it gets done. <laughs> when I'm back to doing art at my desk, that's basically going to be what I'm working on all the time. Oh yeah, that's a point. And depending on, like, the severity of the emotion, you might want to save, you know... You could just do a few important pose changes, but otherwise only change the face. Use it to emphasize. I think this might be done. I want to see it next to the reference. Yeah, game asset type art is wild. Just wild to me. Not bad. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, God. Maybe some of these colors could be a bit darker. But, ooh. You know what? If I do change that, it'll have to be off stream because I have got to wrap up. Let me pop that down somewhere and say my goodbyes. My usual goodbyes. Put it up on the wall. I'm working so hard on upgrading my house so I actually have a big room somewhere. I think one of these days I might do a happy home paradise thing where I design a, an art studio for my little character to sit in. I think that would be cute. Because I'm running out of space. You know what? Put it where the oranges are. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, and my little my little one here will have changed too. Yay! Thank you, Nightbot. I'm wrapping up now, though. Yep. All right. So I might just tweak the colors, but honestly, I'm not going to be putting any more pixels down. This is. This is about as done as this one gets, I think. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. Don't know if you're still there, Allie, but congratulations again. That makes me very happy. I'm gonna have my mood boosted. And... <laughs> God, you say that, but when we moved house this year, Vacuum seal bags saved our fucking lives. I'm like, I believe in vacuum seal bags. I believe in vacuum seal bags. <laughs> Too much stuff. Not enough space. Get the fuck in the bag. I might actually... Ooh, I might actually tweak the... Uh... Oh, hi, Simon. Thanks for popping in to say thank you. Appreciate that. I might see if I like how a black outline looks on the very ends of the house or on the inside. <laughs> but I think that's I think that's it for this one, which means I'm not going to be able to finish another one in the next few days. Um, I think I managed to get four paintings done in November, and I hoped to get eight. But you know what? 
it doesn't matter. What matters is, um, to be perfectly honest, being healthy and alive. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy with the progress I made, and I'm going to keep working on um, the rainbow. So next is going to be a green painting that was already voted on. And I have to double check what the votes for the turquoise painting were. Since I'm basing my rainbow off the, um, I always, always forget the name. I have to look it up. I wrote it down because I know I always forget it. The Gilbert Baker pride flag. Because <laughs> I started with pink accidentally and I was like, you know what? That is the best rainbow. Aw, thank you, Simon. Oh my god, yes. Um, I don't do raids very often, but I would love to do one. Cat Cam. I just have to look up how to do raids. Is that the friend's name? Ayabu. Okay, cool. I copy this. Okay, I'm doing it. Oh, just as the Bomberman music comes on? Oh, Bomberman music's so good. Okay. Pompey Raid, Pompey Raid. Yeah, that'll be it. Post your Pompeys if you got them. Raid, and then paste. And then... Let's go, we're raiding. Yahoo! See y'all later! Bye!